Good morning, fabulous YouTube community. Welcome back to my channel. I am Jennifer Niggle. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I love you guys so much. Welcome back to, I guess I'm just calling this series, I don't know, the diaries. I don't have a name for it yet. But in this series, we talk about perimenopause. We talk about menopause. We get real with it, real talk. So today I am bringing you episode three, and this is actually literally a day after I uploaded episode two. And in that video, I talked about um, how coffee was kind of my demise and sometimes drinking too much coffee. Go back to that video. I'll link it right here for you guys um, and check it out. But I had a lot of caffeine in that video. And as I thought, I did not sleep well last night. Yay for me. I did not sleep well. So today has been a little bit of a rough morning. I woke up with a headache. I did turn it around. I got up. I got cute. I put my cute little ring on, my cute sunglasses that I got, and I got a workout in. I'm going to make this a great day. I'm going to go get a car wash. I'm going to fill up my car with gas. Um, I'm going to go probably to Marshalls. I'm going to go to Walmart, TJ Maxx. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff, get prepared for the week, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So let's do it. So I didn't mention it, but I needed to go to the Dollar Tree and I was actually kind of excited because I sell on the Vented app. So I get all of my mailers here. They always have cute bubble mailers. I like to really personalize my packages and just continue to make my buyers feel very special. And I like to get stickers for them. And they had the cutest like animal print stickers. So I grabbed a couple of those, picked up some tissue paper. And I just kind of browsed around the store and I picked up a couple room sprays. This is a great brand, Aroma Guru. I found this like at Grocery Outlet before but I love this and I got actually both of these um, this one was a spearmint patchouli it smells really good and the other one was a lavender room spray and then I saw that they also had the warming oil so I picked up two of those guys and you never know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree they also had some really good incense I just picked up a few boxes of those as well all right you guys I'm at the Starbucks drive-thru Could I just go ahead and do a grande pike, please? And then an order of the bacon egg bites, and that'll do it. Any um, uh, cream or sugar in your uh, pike, please? Oh, no, thank you. Can you give me a second to find the bacon egg bites? $7.90, I'll see at the window. Thank you. Okay. I did it. I'm going to be in big trouble again, but you know what? It is worth it for the dark roast. Marshalls was a huge success. My son's really into these banties right now and they had just a ton of them. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So I got this Nirvana tee. This is um, size XL. So it's going to be like baggy fit on him. That baggy 90s fit is so in style right now. I love the color of this. It's like a tan, kind of like tan grayish color and it's just like perfect for summer. It was $12.99. Then I got this heathered gray, like kind of worn um, Nirvana shirt. So cute. I could totally see this even for like a girl's style, just like cropped or tied. This one is also an XL and this one was $12.99. I feel like that's such a great deal. So whenever we see these banties, we always snatch them up. And then the last one I picked up today was another Nirvana. It was Nirvana Day, <laughs> Unplugged in New York. I love, love this graphic. I think it's so cool with Kurt Cobain on the front. Also an XL. Yep, also an XL. And this one was only $9.99, you guys. So this is a super deal. Um, if you know, I also sell on the Vinted app. I make a ton of money monthly by just reselling my old clothes, by um, sometimes flipping clothes that I get from like Marshalls, Goodwill, TJ Maxx, Ross, stuff like that that I find on clearance. Such a great way to make extra cash. And um, so my son will wear these and then when he gets sick of them, I'll just resell them, make my money back and sometimes a little bit more. What's going on guys? 
I came down to my filming studio. If you guys haven't seen the video on this, there's like a whole bunch of videos in my vlogmas this year all about building this studio. This is my YouTube studio. I actually have a YouTube studio. I can't believe I can say that, but I've used this to do all of my classes for you guys. I feel very, very fortunate. This was actually an older shack that we completely remodeled, made everything light and bright and wonderful. So I have a good time in here and I thought, why not come down and just chat with you guys? When I walked in the door, just a little side note, there was this tiny baby snake and I'm not scared of snakes, I actually really like snakes, but we get a lot of snakes out here where I live. We live on like a two and a half acre property. We've got mountain lions, we've got deers, we've got snakes, and we actually live on the central coast of California. So we have the best of both worlds. We get the kind of country living slash beach living. Anyways, this tiny little baby snake was in here. I was gonna try to grab him and take him outside, but he slithered right underneath um, my mini fridge that's in here. Anyways, I wanna talk about skincare. I got a request on my last vlog, and I thought, I think this is a perfect topic to kind of tie into the whole perimenopause and menopause discussion. So in this series, we are going to talk about it. We are going to get into it. So make sure you are subscribed. I'll wait. We good? You good? All right, we're subscribed. We are ready to go. The first thing I want to talk about is these little lines around the mouth. Some people call them smokers lines. They're just those tiny little lines that get in there. And if you don't smoke cigarettes and have never smoked cigarettes, you're probably still going to get those lines. It's just part of aging. And they are very, very annoying as we age. Um, it's something that... I'm noticing that I'm getting in the past like two or three years ish or so. And it's just very annoying. I'm a red lipstick kind of gal. I'm a pink lipstick kind of gal. Um, I'm not like a nude lipstick fan. So when I do put on my red lipstick after like a couple hours, I start to notice the bleeding, but I've got the solution. I've got the remedy for you. It's so simple and it will change your life. Okay. The very first way that you can combat this is so simple. Grab chapstick, apply the chapstick before you put on your red lipstick or your pink lipstick or whatever color you're wearing. It actually creates a barrier of like a little bit of a waxy film that then prevents the lipstick from creeping up into those lines. This is a tried and true gold star review from me. I have done this for a long time and it truly does the trick. And I like to be fun and get the flavor chapstick. So I'll get like vanilla bean or I'll get like mocha or just something. And then it's kind of like a fun way to apply your lipstick. It tastes good. It keeps it in place. It smells good and it looks good. The other suggestion would be to just get yourself a clear lip liner. The clear lip liner is so effective. It's so simple. It's a waxy film. Just apply it to your lips. You can go a little bit above the lip line if you want to, to kind of fill in some of those lines if they're a little bit visible, or you can just go exactly on your natural lip line, put that on, apply your liner if you're gonna wear a liner, which will help too, and then just slap your lipstick on. You're good to go for pretty much the whole day. I have literally not seen my lipstick budge at all when I use this approach, and it is so stinking cheap, you guys. It's like $8 for like a clear lip liner. I like to use Maybelline, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, so then I just want to talk about like a bedtime routine. This is something that I do every single night and I have done for many, 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 many years. Okay, so I am a lover of honey, organic honey, and I found this product at TJ Maxx. I'm obsessed with it. This, I'm going to spell it. It's E-S-S-A-N-O, and this is a Manuka Honey um, Night Cream. I love it. I have used so much of it already, you guys, and it truly smells delicious so what i like to do with this is one i exfoliate my skin every single night my face really really well and it's up to you you can use any exfoliator i like to use saint ives i've just personally always loved it so i exfoliate my skin really really well i use a gentle cleanser and then i apply this specific one all over my face to my neck to my chest to my hands and i just let it soak in it's so creamy it's very hydrating and you wake up and you just feel like you're glowing in the morning so if you haven't seen my last vlog well actually two vlogs ago i'll put it right here it actually talks about my favorite face mask so go check it out and try it, it does include the honey and it's so good and so hydrating for you and the reason i love honey so much is because it's antimicrobial it's antibacterial it actually clears your skin it hydrates your skin it has so many benefits so i would highly suggest adding honey into your skincare routine and i have noticed that this particular brand does have a lot of natural honey products and this is also paraben free it's 100 percent natural cruelty cruelty free and it's made in New Zealand. So definitely get yourself a little container of this gold. All right, my next skincare tip is a little bit different 
And this comes from taking care of your skin from the inside out, which I am truly a lover and believer of because it all starts in here and then it kind of manifests out here, right? Am I right? Okay, so definitely make sure you are drinking enough water. You wanna hydrate so that your skin looks supple and younger and plump and beautiful. It's so good for our bodies. Our bodies are over 80% water. So we definitely wanna make sure that we are giving it all that natural hydration. If you like coconut water, I personally love coconut water. There's a lot of benefits to drinking that. And just make sure that you're hydrating however you can. Sparkling water, coconut water, regular water. Do your thing, make it happen. Your skin will truly thank you for it. And the second thing is, you're probably not gonna like this. I don't know, maybe you are gonna like this. I'm personally not a drinker, but try to limit your alcohol intake. Yes, I know, I know. It's so much better for your skin. Alcohol is definitely a diuretic. It can dry your skin out. It's not great for you. Don't even get me started. We'll go into this on another video about how alcohol actually affects your sleep and your sleep patterns and getting into your REM sleep. It's a whole nother topic for conversation, but it's better for your skin if you limit your alcohol intake or just cut it out altogether. And I do think your body will thank you for it in the end. So cut out the alcohol if you can. Okay, so now the very last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is another mask that you can try out that's going to be super hydrating and super great for aging skin, and that is gonna include honey again, but it's honey and avocado. And if you know anything about my property, I live on an avocado farm. We have about 50 avocado trees. We found some new ones as we went out here and cleaned everything up. I'll have to do that in another video, but avocado, smash up avocado, and honey. You guys, it is so good for your skin. It's so hydrating for your skin. It takes two seconds to make this up. Just so healthy for your skin. Your skin will thank you for it if you wanna alternate between the two masks. I like to give that turmeric and honey, it's so hard for me to get turmeric out, Turmeric and honey mask, I call it the golden goddess because it just really gives your skin a nice natural glow to it. It's so hydrated. Um, switch between the two. The avocado has that good healthy fat for your skin, so it's definitely a great one to add into your skincare routine. You guys, thank you so much for joining me for episode three on my perimenopause and menopause journey. I thank you guys for being here. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.